today. The state television campaign of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. Western Armenia remembers the victims in the earthquake happened a year ago. The International Committee of the Red Cross visited Armenia in Baku. Elmer Abrahamian lived in captivity for about 10 days. We in our place names. Armenian Iranian cultural relations are at the stage of the highest development. The Armenian who first climbed the Everest passed away. Baku is carrying out cultural genocide in Artsakh. In Western Armenia, have been mentioned about the victims in the earthquake that happened a year ago. More than 6,000 people died in the north of Western Armenia as a result of a strong earthquake that happened a year ago. Many families lived in tent for months before moving into special shacks where hundreds of thousands still live. According to experts, it was possible to avoid such devastation if the construction norms in occupied Western Armenia were fully observed in time. Osgun Koncha, an employee of the Earthquake Research Institute, says that buildings constructed after the new regulations in the construction industry should not have collapsed during the tremors, but many residential buildings collapsed in seconds. The Turkish government has promised to build hundreds of thousands of new houses for the people suffered from the earthquake, but instead has so far managed to build only tens of thousands of houses. Zara Matuni, head of communicative of the ICRS delegation, told to Sputnik Armenia that the International Committee will visit Armenians captured in Baku. They were given opportunity to contact with their families, said Amatuni. The visits of the Armenian prisoners held in Baku took place at the end of January and at the beginning of February. After the military operations took place in September, the representatives of the Red Cross visited, first visited Armenians arrested by Baku authorities in early November 2023. At the end of September, the Azerbaijan border guards arrested former Minister of State of Artsakh, philanthropist Ruben Vartanyan, former commander of the armed forces Levon Manatakanyan, former deputy commander of the armed forces David Manukyan, former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ar Artsakh David Babayan, speaker of the National Assembly of Artsakh David Ishkanyan, former president of Artsakh Arkady Rukaisan and Bako Sahakyan. Elmira Abrahamian have been lived in captivity for about 10 days. 63 years old Elmira Abrahamian from Artsakh was captured in 2023. She lived in captivity for about 10 days in a conversation with 4 Rights AM. The captured elderly woman said that she saw some of her relatives and fellow villagers also to be captured there. Elmira had to take shelter in one of the Artsakh's houses and reports that they threatened to kill her there. On the third day of the Bakus cap captivity, Elmira Abrahamian saw that her husband, sister, son was also in the capti was in captivity in the same area too. The boy's name was Hayaset. In Armenian language, means person who is fond of Armenian. He is 40 years old and he tells more detail while he stayed there. The children of the 62-year-old Elmira had no information from their mother during the time she was captivated. Elmira Abrahamian, who was in captivity, also tells about a terrible incident that happened in her attack. She mentions about a woman that ran away and uh, another how they took him to the soldiers. Soldiers took her and uh, slaughtered her. She was about 45 and 40 years old woman from her attack village. We in our place names. In order to get an idea of the principles of Turkey, Turkization of Armenian place names, we consider it necessary to present the most important of them. It lets mention one of the more common forms. For example, Turks re renamed Armenian toponym mainly by translation from the most frequently used words in the names of geographical objects. For example, they changed down the word down to Asta, upper to Yukar, middle to Orta, and such kind of changes. They refer to Armenian words. Armenian place names and unnecessarily filling the Armenian highlands with artificial and foreign place names which are called, according to Georg Jahukian, linguist academician of Republic of Armenia, they cannot be considered scientific material. Armenian-Iranian cultural relations are in its brighter stage. Armenian-Iranian cultural relations are at the stage of blossoming. Armenia and Iran, which are countries with rich history and culture, are strengthening their friendly relations in the field of cultural education. This is uh, evidenced by the multi-content program implemented in Armenia by the Cultural Center of the Iranian Embassy in Yerevan and outside the capital. Mohamed Asadi Movalhet gave reporters details about the plans for the development of cultural and educational ties between the two countries in 2024, assuring that these initiatives will be continuous. 
The head of the Center of Culture of the Iranian Embassy for, in Armenia noticed that Armenian people and the Armenian society are cultural-loving and art-loving people, so they will implement various cultural programs in Armenia. One of the most important is book printing. One of the projects they are pursuing is the translation of books published in Armenia. Various interesting works into Persian and the translation of Persian literature into Armenian will be held also. The first Armenian mountaineer who climbed Everest has died. This was announced by the Mountain Tourism Federation of Armenia. Lev Sarkisov was born on December 2, 1948, in the city of Voronezh. After the Second World War, the Sarkisov family moved to Tbilisi. Lev Sarkisov reached the top of Mount Everest as part of the Caucasian team organized by Georgians. That team was called Caucasian 99. By the decision of the Republic of Armenia, Prime Minister on July 2016, Lev Sarkisov was awarded a letter of thanks for his inefficient contribution and outstanding achievements in the field of mountaineering. Baku is carrying out cultural genocide in Artsakh. The cross of the Vanga searchers is absent from the photos published on the Azerbaijan social media platform. We learn about this from the Facebook page of Ombudsman of High Culture. The state propaganda machine of Baku presents this church as Avanian. This fact proves once again that Baku is carrying out cultural genocide at the state level in occupied Artsakh at the state level. Article 4 of the Hague Convention of 1954 prohibits any act of vandalism, theft, robbery, misappropriation, enmity, and retaliation against cultural heritage. According to the first Hague Protocol of 1954, it is forbidden to destroy cultural or spiritual values in the occupied territories. The Hague International Court of Justice 2021, according to the decision of December 7, was banned chanting of the desecration of Armenian Church. Baku is obliged to take all necessary measures to prevent and punish acts of vandalism and desecration. Armenian Cultural Heritage According to the peace resolution, the denial of Armenian cultural values and those belonging to Avans was recognized as a Baku's fiction, stated the Post. This was all for today. Goodbye. یخ بای رو کوی رو در آتاد دمیت دقیت موه رو در آن میلیون آبور های رزو در آن سرتیس می چی نشان مارل Oh